Welcome back for another one guys. Today I've got seven dozen decoys set out in the spread and uh, the mallards have been weary. They've been uh, hard to work. They've been flying in big groups. So my thoughts were either a small spread and make it all movement or run a really big spread. And so that's what I did. So I've got all my decoys out there. I've got my flocked head live mallards out there uh, on the very front edge of the landing hole. So then I've got my best looking decoys front and center. For the hide, hiding in the Invisiman, I don't have the legs down. So I'm gonna just use it like a layout blind here. And we're gonna try and shoot some ducks. We're gonna have a nice south wind today and uh, clear skies. I think it's gonna be good. Hopefully these mallards want to play today. Come on. I'm going to shoot at this one if he flies over. Or comes into the set. Holy smokes. Yeah, baby. And the race starts. Oh, nice. One finish up shot and we got the duck. Tell you what guys, I'm really digging this uh, Carlson's Cremator on the 20 gauge. Got the mid-range in today. And I have no shame in shooting hens. I'm not here to kill some ducks. And with the way today is looking, I don't really know if uh, we'll see a whole lot of action. So we gotta take what we can get. Today has been off to a pretty slow start. Um, I was getting a little nervous, thinking I wasn't even gonna get one duck. So, got one Susie so far. But, got this one here. A little bit of a poke, but definitely did the job. Got, got that one lucky BB, but shooting the 20 gauge today with the Carlson's Cremator mid-range. I've been digging it, guys. Oh, there's the decoy spread. It looks really good. There's a lot of decoys out there, so I'm really going to rely on this wind that's going to pick up throughout the day to uh, bring some life to the spread, and I think that's going to help a lot. So right now it's just a waiting game. We got one mallard, and uh, we're just going to wait on the wind, and hopefully the ducks keep flying. Even though I haven't seen a whole lot of flying, it's still something. Come on. Oh yeah, they're gonna come in all the way. Oh, almost three for three. Two Mallard Drakes though, baby. That's what I'm talking about. You want to talk about some perfect decoying action. That was that. That was beautiful. Almost got three of them. But there's a nice fat Mallard Drake. Another nice fat Mallard Drake. So we got three Mallards in the back. So that really turned the day around. I was like, man, I put in all this work just to shoot one duck, but hey, it turned around, no calling. I think the hide's really good. The decoy spread looks really good. I did make some adjustments, spaced them out a little bit more and hooked it around a little more, just to kind of give it a bigger profile. But man, those ducks just dumped. Almost three for three, almost. I, uh, I was very methodical about my shooting 
I made sure to get them down low and then uh, pull up on the one that was higher. So the drake on the left stoned him, then moved on to the second bird. So I had my birds picked out which ones I was going to shoot when before I even pulled out of the blind. So there's a little tip for you guys. If you are trying to uh, improve some shooting, pick your bird, pick which bird you're going to shoot first. And if you hit that one, make sure you know which one you're going to go to next. So that was easy. Three pack, two drakes, one hand. Obviously going to shoot the drakes first. So good start to the day. I think, I don't know, man. I think if we just stick it out long enough, there's going to be a couple more groups that fly by and we could get a couple more ducks in the bag. Well, I'm getting packed up here. Got the last load of decoys to take back to the boat. It was a good day. Can't complain. I've had way worse. I've done a lot more for less and, you know, can't complain with three ducks. <sighs> Beautiful. Fully plumed mallard drakes. They just did it right. Right in the hole. Like, I'd rather have one group do that and just finish all the way in and just get that one group versus you know like what I did for that hen today where I shot it flying over like I'd rather shoot less birds in the decoys versus more when they're just past shooting if that makes any sense whatsoever um, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already I've got an idea of what I want to do with these ducks so stay tuned you guys might want to stick around for this you guys are not ready to see what I've got going here. Be prepared. I'm giving you a warning. Look at that beautiful, beautifulness. This is that hand I shot today. Not even a single pellet anywhere to be seen. So, I didn't really have the intentions of doing a whole duck today. I was actually just going to uh, breast them out with the skin on, but took advantage of uh, this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous duck and uh, spatchcocked it, got all the guts out, and we are ready to do some cooking. And so I broke out my uh, Duck Duck Goose Cookbook. If you guys don't have one of these, you should get one. It's got some good stuff in it, but got the Traeger preheating right now. We're gonna just do a very simple, basic roasted duck and see what it's all about. I've only done a whole duck maybe one or two times, so hopefully this will be the one that changes my opinion on uh, doing whole birds. So let's get after it. All right, so prepping the bird here, all we're gonna do is just hit it with a little bit of olive oil. We'll rub that in. And now, we're gonna hit it with my favorite rub to use on any kind of waterfowl. Just the basic Traeger rub. It's been fantastic. So we're gonna really hammer this thing with this seasoning. This duck has some serious, serious fat going on with it. So I also have a little bit of a secret, but I'm gonna to wait to show you guys that until later. I think this bird is ready. So we're gonna just throw it in this cast iron pan here and take it out to the Traeger. Something I noticed when I was cleaning this duck is it's got a lot of fat and good, clean, white fat. So I, hello, don't mind me, my microphone's just falling off my camera. I think this is gonna be a delicious bird, so Got the Traeger preheating. This says 300 degrees for about 45 minutes. Um, shoot, I was gonna score the skin. Hold on a sec. Now we're ready to go. This right here is the newest Traeger in my arsenal that Traeger set. Um, this is the tailgate. So this thing's really sweet because it's pretty small. Like, there's my Giganto Pro 780. Here's a little tailgate. The thing I like about it is it's a really good size grill for you know, just like one or two people. But also, if you look, there's little knobs. These legs will fold up. And with the legs folding up, you can just throw it on your tailgate and uh, take it tailgating, do whatever. So, after using this a handful of times, it's been great. So, this was always seemed like it was a little bit overkill, a little too much. And my little Ranger was great, but sometimes it just didn't have enough space. 
So this is really nice little medium sized grill for everything. So let's throw this duck on there. Hopefully, the, hopefully it fits, I didn't measure. Perfect. Okay, it's been about 35 minutes. Here's what she looks like so far. I'm gonna take this one step farther. And we'll finish this up for another 15 minutes. But I'm gonna glaze this guy with something special. Mango habanero from Buffalo Wild Wings. Watch out, Cora, this is hot. So we're gonna just... We'll probably do this for another 15 minutes or so. It should be done. I just took a peek in here and I don't think you guys are ready to see this. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, that looks so good. It is the moment you have all been waiting for. Let's get this thing cut. Got a leg and a thigh. Uh, breast. How did it come out? Doesn't look too shabby, actually. This doesn't suck. Probably could have been cooked a little longer, but I didn't want to overcook it. Guys! Mmm! That's Rockstar. That mango habanero sauce from Buffalo Wild Wings. You glaze your duck with it, you will be in a new world. <clears throat> I'm in a new world right now. Oh my gosh, that sauce. Oh my God. Buffalo Wild Wings, please sponsor me. I can't, I can't. Guys, my mind is blown. Look at that. I'm tearing this thing up. A little word of advice for you guys. If you're looking for a little bit of work, but a lot of reward, cook your ducks like this. This was fantastic. And do yourself a favor and get some of that mango habanero. Put that on your duck. Oh my gosh. It works so good. It's so good. That's all I gotta say about that.